If you guys know me, you know that I love doing lure reviews. I love looking at new lures, old lures, Japanese lures, American lures, whatever it may be. I love doing a good lure review. And today I'm actually looking at two different lures. And this might be a little bit more of a comparison between the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper and the Berkley Agent E. I'm really excited to see how these baits look in the water, what they look like, how they compare. So stay tuned it's going to be a good one. This video is brought to you by the Deep Dive app. If you guys are not familiar with the Deep Dive app, this is an app that allows you to kind of figure out the bass on your local body of water a lot quicker. Now there is a free version of this app and there is a paid version of this app, but regardless, if you download this app, you can actually select the local lake that you're going to be fishing and then you can input data that you're seeing. You can put in the water temperature, the water clarity, whether that lake has vegetation, whether you're fishing in a protected or a windy area. And once you put in all that information, the app will spit out some strategies and lures that can help you to locate bass a lot quicker. Now, these strategies and lures are all based upon data that comes from hundreds of different big tournaments across the nation. So the information is very accurate and the app is also very accurate. So if you guys are interested in this, you can download it down below in the link in the description. Now, if you look at these lures, they are almost the exact same. They are very similar, which is why I wanted to do a comparison. Now, the Mega Bass Dark Sleeper has been on the market for a long time now, actually for a really, really long time. It's a very unique bait. I think it's a very underutilized bait by a lot of fishermen, because to be honest, it kind of looks a little bit goofy, right? It, it's And it's not your normal swim bait. Something that is very unique about this swim bait, the Dark Sleeper, is is that it is really meant to be fished very similarly to a jig where you are actually pitching it underneath overhanging trees, underneath docks, flipping it into wood cover, whatever it may be. That is kind of what this bait was really intended for. Now, recently, Berkeley has come out with kind of their own version of this bait, which I know someone's going to say some things in the comments about copying lures. And that is something that is just very hard to manage in the lure world because you can make the slightest modifications to a lure and even if you have patents on certain lures they go out the door once you make those simple modifications so i'm not here to talk about that i'm really just here to compare these lures and just see what they look like in the water now today i'm actually looking at the half ounce and three inch version of each of these baits now just looking at these two baits a couple of things that you notice right off the bat is that you know the berkeley agent e has a little bit bigger eyes on it. I don't know that that always matters. There may be times where bass fishing in really highly pressured water that bigger eyes may actually help you, but not always. I'm not going to say that that's a huge difference. The other thing is the way that the hooks are protected. As you can see, there's a monofilament weed guard on the Berkeley Agent E kind of protecting that hook, where if you look at the Dark Sleeper, this top dorsal fin that's made out of plastic is what is protecting the hook. They are almost the exact same as far as how wide they are. They are obviously both three inch baits. Something else that I looked at was the size of the tails of the baits. And these, I actually put these tails on each other and they are, I mean, they are almost the exact same size. Now, one thing that I did notice that's a little bit different about these baits, if I kind of wiggle them back and forth like this, you can kind of see that the tail of the dark sleeper, really the only part that kind of wiggles in this bait is about the last half inch of the bait. And it kind of is a little bit narrower at the end, where if you look at the Berkeley one, it actually wiggles further down the bait. It bends further down the bait. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, whether one has a bigger kick or not. I don't know. So I'm actually going to take these baits. I'm going to put them in the water. We're going to stick the GoPro down there and get some underwater footage of these two baits. The first test that I did, I went from a slow speed to a medium speed. And what I was trying trying to find out was which tail of the bait would start kind of wagging back and forth the first, because that's going to tell me which lure is really best at lower speeds. And as you can see from the video footage, the dark sleeper was definitely better at lower speeds. That tail would start kicking back and forth well before the Berkeley one did. Now there, there's definitely a chance that it could be just the particular baits that I bought, but I took both of them fresh out of the 
package and put them in the water. So this would just be like if you had bought both and started fishing. Them. So the next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to see what these baits look like at kind of a more normal speed. What did they look like? in the water at kind of your normal fishing speed. Even though these baits are extremely similar on the outside, there are definitely some key differences in these baits. For instance, if you look at the Berkley Agent E, you can see that this bait has a lot more head wiggle than the Dark Sleeper. And in my opinion, head wiggle is extremely important anytime you are swim bait fishing. Now, like I said, you don't always fish these swim baits the same as you fish other swim baits like you you're not always casting and reeling these baits in these baits are a little bit more made for cover so whether that head wiggle actually makes a big impact on whether or not you're getting bites or not that's really depending on how you are fishing the bait now if you are fishing it like a swim bait where you're casting and reeling it in that head wiggle i think is really important at getting a few extra bites you see this on some of the best selling baits on the market like the mega bass mag draft as well as some of the older bass pro shop swim baits that you actually can't get your hands on anymore so the agent e definitely had more head wiggle now one thing i did notice at kind of a normal speed is that the agent e tended to want to ride a little bit deeper than the dark sleeper now that's neither here or there and that's not saying it's a bad thing or a good thing it's just something that I noticed that was different. If you were fishing a little bit deeper, maybe you would want to fish that Agent E. Now, the next thing I wanted to look at was the high speed performance of these baits. Can you fish these baits at high speeds? Because there are a lot of swim baits on the market that if you're fishing them on high speeds, they tend to roll over on themselves. I had these baits both going at about three miles an hour and they stayed steady really, really well. Now, the next thing that I was curious to know was the skippability of these baits because these are baits that I like to skip up underneath docks and Really, these baits to me were the exact same when it came to skipping. You could skip them extremely well and skip them extremely far. Now, the last thing that I looked at was the snag ability of these baits. And this was kind of one that was harder for me to test because basically I just had to fish with both of these baits for a while to see if I felt like one was snagging up more than the other. After fishing these baits for a little while, I noticed that the Berkley Agent E probably snagged up just a hair less than the Mega Bass. I, I snagged up both of these baits. I got both of them hung while fishing, but I felt like the Agent E maybe came through the cover just slightly better. You know, a real quick side note with both of these baits is that the Agent E, you, you really have to treat it as a jig, meaning when you set the hook on it, you really have to give them the bananas to really have a pretty good hookup with that fish. You can set the hook a little bit less hard with the dark sleeper and, and hook that fish. I'm not saying one is better than the other. I'm just saying when you're fishing the Agent E, make sure you give them the bananas. Looking at these baits, they are extremely similar just looking at them, but they are very different baits at the same time. There might be situations that a Berkley Agent E is going to outperform a Dark Sleeper, and there's gonna be certain situations where the Dark Sleeper is going to outperform the Berkley bait. You know, I really think it depends on the aggression of the bass. If you are fishing in a pond where maybe the bass are really aggressive, or you're fishing out on a lake where the bass are really, really aggressive, I don't necessarily think that fishing either one of these baits is really going to make a difference. I think you're probably going to catch the same amount of fish, but you know, there are certain times of the year, there are certain situations where details really, really matter. I have seen that when you are fishing really highly pressured bodies of water, like I do in Ohio a lot, little key differences in a bait can make a difference. Now, the big thing is, is what are the bass gonna like? Cause I can't tell you and say that, hey, bass like more action or less action in a bait. For instance, we saw that the Agent E had a little bit more head wiggle. Now, if you're fishing highly pressured bodies of water, there may be time where the bass don't want as much head wiggle, you know, because they've seen a lot of those baits, but there are other times where they want that head wiggle. So I'm just saying that these baits are a little bit different and in highly pressured bodies of water that's where you're probably going to see the big di the biggest difference on how many fish you are catching now the one thing that i can for sure tell you is that if i'm fishing you know this lure really really slow maybe i'm fishing in a little bit colder water and i want a little bit more of that tail to start wiggling at a low pace that's definitely a place where i might pick up that mega bass because its tail definitely started wiggling at a lower speed. Now, if I'm wanting to fish the baits a little bit deeper, 
I might pick up the Berkeley one because the Berkeley ones seem to ride a little bit deeper than the Mega Bass ones. So all in all, guys, these baits are a little bit different. They have a little few key differences. And I really just wanted to show you what they look like in the water so that you can make your own decisions on the bait. Now, I actually did another video where I looked at different chatter baits under the water to see what their sound was, what they looked like, and I'm gonna leave a link for that video right here. So if you guys enjoyed this video, I think you will also enjoy this one. Please subscribe to the channel, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.